Bart was explaining uh, how the project came across his desk initially. Did you feel good about seeing the Danish film first, or did you not want to see it? Tell me about the, the, the initiation of the remake, adaptation. I immediately, because I hadn't seen it. Had you seen it before? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I immediately went out and, um, and saw it, because I thought, I, because it's not a, it's not a direct uh, translation of it because the uh, genders are transposed. I thought, oh, actually, I'm not. I, I won't become attached to something that somebody else did. I, I know that there's going to be a lot of freedom already that's created by um, by flipping what Bart did with the script. And so I wasn't nervous to see sort of what had come before. I was really just curious. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was my attraction to it, actually. Bart had been approached to this American adaptation of it, so he was thinking it was going to be a straight-up adaptation. And as I was watching it, I was really, really compelled by um, this one character in it. And I, and I actually turned to him and I said, wow, I would play that part with no idea that eventually he was going to flip it and that I'd be able to play that part. So I think I found it quite um, inspirational, actually. But, but so many things had to be changed for the genders to work in, in our version that it didn't, it ends up being a much more deliberate and considered uh, choice that these characters have made. And that's what I, I, I found so interesting about it. I think living in New York, we've all met women like your character. Yeah. We, we see that woman. Right. We don't see as many women like the character you played. Uh, tell me about uh, the journey of, of going to India and working there mm -hmm. and, and being on location with this character. So I had actually been to India before and I had, <clears throat> I had the, uh, the memory of this place like, very much inside of me and when um, and to have been there and to have been able to remember that and have that experience and bring it to bear on the film felt really exciting to me because the place is unlike any other. Um, but I think that, you know, my character, she was in New York, she had come from New York, she was a New Yorker, but she sort of fled this life and reinvented herself and so similarly felt, you know, like an alien landing on a, on a new planet completely out of completely displaced after being in India for so long. This is a question for both of you. Mm -hmm. uh, what qualities uh, in your characters do you share? Or perhaps quite the opposite, do not share. What, what is like your character? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, what I appreciate uh, is her attachment to her family and the fact that she's very, very deliberately built this family. It's something that she wanted and that she states that. She said that she wanted to have a career but she wanted to have a family and that's something that was always really important to me too. I always knew that I wanted to be an actor. It was really um, important that I come to New York and try to achieve that but I knew that I wanted to be married and I wanted to have children. So I love that she's represented that way of somebody who cares about these things, both these things passionately. Do you share any qualities with your character? I suppose the first thing that comes to my mind is <clears throat> how much she's living a life of her own invention, how much she, um, how, how she's carved out her own way. Um, I, I related to that and I admired it. Because of the nature of what you do, being able to turn on and off these uh, emotions, uh, on cue, I guess, <laughs> uh, things don't, we, we assume things unfold the way we see them um, just in terms of continuity. But did you shoot in sequence? I'm, ju I'm just curious. No, not at all. Never, never. Have you, you ever shot a movie in sequence? Never. No. no, we've never done it. You shoot by location, by what, <laughs> you know, however the locations are scheduled. So we shot everything that happened in Manhattan first, and then we went to Oyster Bay, Long Island, and then we went to India. So it was all out of order. <laughs> There must have been a, a, an amazing camaraderie uh, between cast and crew, not only because of the, the close nature of the project, but the fact that you all know each other off camera as well. Can you, can you speak to the, the family feeling of this? I think, it, I mean, for me, it was very much my family because it's my husband and my daughter was a PA and, um, you know, so, and, and I, we've known Billy for really a long time, and Michelle and I have known each other like a little bit, but really had never worked together before, but I was super excited to get to work with her, and was really thrilled, so thrilled. So I think you're just, I think any time that you have um, any kind of relationship that you can pull into um, a film, you're, I, I'm grateful for it, because it is so fast. Yeah. So you do rely on those relationships.